guys. Today we're going to do the first part of our caterpillar project. Today, you can see you're gonna have five circles. We need to add some designs to these and next time when they're dry, we will put them together. So, maybe I'll start with just one of my papers. We're only gonna work inside these circles today. So, you can see we have some oil pastels that we are going to use. Oil pastels work as a resist, which means when we paint on top of them, the paint does not go on top of the oil pastel. It pushes the paint off the oil pastel, so you can still see your marks. So, I'm just going to make sure I'm pushing down hard when I'm drawing with my oil pastels and maybe I'll draw some different designs on each little circle. So I did some zigzags on that circle. Maybe on this circle I'll do some polka dots. And you do have to push down pretty hard with your oil pastels for them to show up when we go to paint. So I've done two so far. I really like those. Actually, maybe I'll add I just wanted to add another color to this one. Yeah, that looks pretty cute. Okay, now. I'm just gonna keep going, continuing to add some cool designs. You can look up at our line poster on the wall to help you come up with some fun ideas. Pretty cool. Ooh, I like the, I just looked up at our line poster and we have a jumping line. Kind of looks like little scales. Okay, I have one more. What should I do on my last one? Ooh, maybe some loop-de-loop -loop lines. Cute. Okay, now we're gonna set those aside and now we are going to start painting our dots. So, we have some paints here and we have a water bowl here. Now, there are some little puddles of water in your paint. You have to mix, mix, mix to stir that water in with that paint that's in that little paint cup. So we're stirring, we're stirring and then you can go to add paint. What we wanna do when we're all done painting, we don't wanna see any white space inside of our circles. So we're going to paint until everything's filled up. Now, before I get a new color, I need to wash my brush in the water bowl so then I don't get purple in whatever color I go to do next, which I kind of want to paint some of these zigzags. I'm making sure to stir that water up in that paint. Oops. Eh. That's probably why we should leave our paints on the tray. Oh, I love that polka dot one. That is so cute. All right, those two are adorable. I'm gonna set those off to the side so I can paint these ones.
Just a reminder, between colors, make sure you are washing your brush. That's so important so we don't ruin our paints. All right, guys, so this is how we are finishing these up. I made sure that before I was all done, I didn't leave any white spaces in any of my circles. Next time, we will cut these out and we'll put them together, like I said, to make our caterpillars. They're gonna be so, so cute.